pretty fascinating. There is new research today that's of interest to anyone thinking of having a baby. A study just released says a simple nutrient could help protect against childhood obesity. Health anchor Liz Bonus is here to share the important results. Liz. This is really interesting. Hi, Paula. There's yet another reason today to make sure to take those prenatal vitamins and possibly an additional vitamin supplement if you're pregnant or even planning to have a baby. This new report in the International Journal of Obesity found women who had low levels of vitamin D had children who had more body fat by the time they were five years old. Now, researchers in this study analyzed information from more than 1,700 women. They were part of a study called the Screening for Pregnancy Endpoints Study, or SCOPE as it's called. This study is all about identifying early predictors in pregnancy that could lead to complications for a baby later in life. The moms who measured lower in vitamin D levels about four months into pregnancy ended up with children who had higher body weights by the time they were age five. Now this was compared to women who had higher levels of vitamin D. Researchers say if this nutrient could make a difference in a baby or a child's future weight, given the rates of childhood obesity, this may be very important for new moms to know. Now, the real important thing is that if you're even thinking of having a baby, the prenatal vitamin does have some vitamin D, but according to the American Pregnancy Association, women who are pregnant may need a lot more than what is in those supplements. The important thing for the rest of us to know is that we may need some vitamin D whether we're yeah. planning to have a baby or not. And the problem is that vitamin D is best absorbed with other nutrients. So mm -hmm. you need the calcium. Yeah. And I always say to people, if this isn't what you're getting in a day, you're not probably getting enough calcium and vitamin D. At least three, it's three to four okay. dairy a day. So milk, cheese, or yogurt. Yeah. And I rate it our refrigerator. So, uh, well, <laughs> so the D needs the calcium and calcium needs D as right, well. Right, to, to get absorbed. back so into your bones. Kind of and there's some thought that yeah. we live in this area where we're in a parallel yeah. where a a lot of the months of the year, we don't even get the 15 minutes of sunlight we would need for vitamin yeah. D, which means you probably need to be tested for it. If you're thinking of having a baby, get tested for it. And if you know you're not getting this, you probably ought to be getting supplements and more additional well, My foods. friends in, in sunny climates tell me that all the time. And then I wear sunblock on top of it here, as many of us do, and you get even less Oh yeah, D, right? no, so, we're, I mean, we're yeah. all protected, and yeah. it's, it's a mixed blessing. Protects uh -huh. the skin and uh, harms us in other ways. All right, we'll Good. have more of this at local12.com. All right, thanks.